Hi, this is Myra with Boutique Paint. Today we're making ring bowls and I'm going to be using both Sculpty and um, Iron Orchid Designs air dry clay just to show you that you can do it with both. These are a few samples and I'm going to stamp them with Iron Orchid Design stamps. So let's get started here. I'll scoot all this to the side. And hopefully it doesn't come crashing down on me. All right. So I got the, this is Sculpty, and I'm warming it up. So it's easier to roll out. And I'm going to use um, one of these rolling pins that have the um, little rings on it so that you can determine the thickness of the um, how you want your clay and I think this is a three millimeter or it's one eighth inch and they come with all kinds of different thicknesses they come with a set of different ring sets um, so you can make it whatever thickness you're wanting when you're rolling out so basically you're going to roll one direction and then kind of roll in different directions so that you're kind of getting a circle-ish. And you just keep rolling until you get, so you're actually, um, your rings are touching your mat. And I got this uh, rolling pin on Amazon and it came with the mat and the rolling pin. Looks like we're pretty close there. I'm gonna flip it over. Now I'm gonna to check to see if it's the right size for my bowl. Looks like it will be. Um, you can use any uh, type of bowl any sizable and it doesn't have to be a round bottom um, because once you put it in you're not going all the way to the bottom it's not the bottom that's determining um, the the shape of it it's just putting it in something that is round will determine it so before I cut the circle I am going to stamp it with our impression and for this one I'm gonna go ahead and do the butterfly I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put it towards the center. You can ink this up and make your impression, or you can just um, do it the way I am. I painted the inside of those other ones after I baked them. I'm just gonna lift it, Oop, make sure my impressions are, yeah. There we go. I do have a little bit of a lip from the outside of the um, stamp. This right here. Sometimes I cut those back. So I'm just gonna roll it a little bit. Perfect. Took it mostly out. Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside. Now I'm going to place my bowl in the center. I'm just going to kind of push it down slightly so that it oh, didn't give me much of an impression. Let's press a little harder. If you have cookie cutters that are big, this is perfect. Um, I don't have any big ones. So now I'm just going to take a utility knife and go around. And just as a note, um, try to not, I mean, you can use these and then you can wash them. Um, I try to have separate, like my rolling pin is just for crafts. And the reason being is when you're using different products, you don't know what kind of chemicals or whatnot are in them. And so you don't want to be going then and using it in your kitchen. off. 
then I'm going to put this, the rest of this in a plastic bag, save it for later. And we're going to just slowly, and you want your bowls to be able to go in the oven because with the Sculpty, you, um, you bake them. And I just bake them right in the bowl. Makes it easier. Tricky part is when you're done getting it out. Then I take it just a little knife and um, kind of loosen it around the edges. It's not that it's um, stuck to the dish. It's that it's just kind of got an airlock. And so you got to unairlock it. And then it'll pop out. If you let it cool a little bit, that helps too. So don't worry about um, the edges if they're not perfect, because I'll show you a little trick when we get to um, finishing the bowl off. So, all right, I set that one aside. And now we are going to use the air dry clay. Same thing, take a chunk of it. This one I'm gonna use a little bit more because I'm gonna use a little bit bigger bowl. I'll warm it up. If you use one of these mats, then you don't have to put down, you know, when you're using the air dry clay in the molds, how you have to put down a little cornstarch. You don't have to do that. It'll pull right up off this mat. Oops. Not very round, but let's see if we got where we need to go. Yes. Okay. So we're going to stamp first. The reason why I'm stamping first is because um, just in case I'm like displacing the clay any, I mean, you could cut it and then stamp it. It probably doesn't matter a whole lot, but I wasn't sure how much um, it would displace the clay. So I do it this way first. So I don't want my shape to get um, out of out of round. All right, lift it and check it. Looks pretty good. And we'll get. Oh, which bowl was I using? I was using this one. All right. Hide stuff on myself all the time. And push down. Get your impression. And then lift. Once again, the hard part. And go around. On this one, you could put cellophane underneath and then put it in the bowl, and then it would help you um, pull it out because it's air dry clay. You're not going to put it in the oven. But that being said, I'm going to cheat and I'm going to put this in the oven. Don't tell the sisters. I just want to see what's going to happen. Okay, let's set that aside. You put that into an airtight container so you can save it. We're gonna lift this. Well, I think we're gonna lift it. And slide it down the bowl. And sometimes you have to lift a corner just to let the air out underneath as you're pushing down. Once again, don't worry about 
the edges. Just worry more about getting the shape you want. All right, I'm going to go bake this one. I'm going to try air drying this or heat drying this on a low temperature just to see as an experiment. I'll let you know what happens with that. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. These have been baked for 15 minutes in a 275 oven. This is the Iron Orchid Design clay one, and the top is pretty dried out. The bottom, though, is still very moist, but it actually worked. It, it, um, it did start taking the moisture out of the clay, um, so I'm glad that that experiment worked. This one is the Sculpty. I'll just slide it right out. That one came out pretty easy. Sometimes it is a little bit, but I also let these cool a little bit. So I'm going to take a sanding pad now, and I'm just going to go along the edges. You can clean them right up. So any imperfections, you can sand right off. Um... Or you can, you know, just leave it kind of organic looking. But it sands pretty nice. It makes it nice and clean. I'll just go around this real quick. So this one, because it's wet, I mean, we can go ahead and paint it. Um, because you can do the uh, air dry clay painted. I mean, you can paint the air dry clay when it's wet. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. Let's clean up the edges. All right. So I think I'm going to do. That's, I'm going to do this one first. I'm using our DIY paint. This is old 57. Such a pretty color. I'm using a foam brush. But you could use any sort of brush, but just kind of work it into the crevices of where you did your stamping. So this one is the, uh, the um, air dry clay. This one is the um, Sculpty that I had done before. And I'm going to get out my wax brushes. I always write on my brushes wax because um, you go to use them for paint and then they don't want to stick. Um, so this way you keep them separate. The other thing you can do is just use a paper towel. And I am using uh, DIY waxes today. I'm just going to wrap that in there. Probably got a little carried away with how much I put in there, but that's all right. I have a tendency to have a little bit of a heavy hand when it comes to waxes. Or heavy brush, I guess. Okay. Take a paper towel. it out. Now the other thing you do is because especially with uh, since the clay is white um, you could when you paint it do a white back and it would then reveal the high spots being white as opposed to the impression being white which is also a very pretty effect. I want deep oceans. That's what I want. I'm going to just put a little bit of it. I'm going to grab a, I'm getting a sharp tip brush. And then just, I went in there and I painted.
Now these in here, I went in afterwards with my second color and a fine tip brush again and hit those highlights. And in the center with the gold paint, same thing, went in with a fine tip brush and got in there and did the finer details of it. This takes a little bit more time than just doing a, a stamp with the ink like on that. But that being said, you could do, you know, the, uh, you could do the stamp with the blue oceans. Oceans blue. That's what it is. And uh, then go in with a second or third color after you've baked it. And then you could hit, you know, like some of these spots with it, with the color. Because I don't think it, it's going to matter if you're... What, what the process is. Just as long as you're having fun with the creative process. So anyway, I don't, you don't need to sit here and watch me probably paint all of this like this. As I keep going. Painting with the inks is really um, an awesome way to get kind of a, a see-through um, coloring. Almost as if um, like watercolor. So I'm just going to do this one tone since I made you sit here and watch me do this. But it's super simple to go through and put in those extra colors. Now the writing down here, that's a different matter because the other ones I didn't do it. So I'm just going to see if this will take the ink a little bit. A little bit. I mean, you certainly can't read what it says it is so small but it kind of gives you the feel of it so. anyway i could sit there and fuss with it all day long anyway <laughs> thank you for joining us me um if you have any questions or would like to know about any of our products you can go to our website at www.boutiquepaint.com thank you bye <laughs>